So we're on to our third gold wine for this month, and the first gold red. We're going to be looking at the Quai de Vigneron uh, Le Pouche uh, Samour Rouge. So this is a 100% Cabernet Franc from the Samour, lar a larger Anjou Samour region uh, within Loire. And if y'all remember, we featured a red from Samour a couple months ago, the uh, the Dominano Lambert. Um, that was on the platinum list. That was a very kind of niche uh, very like high intensity version of Cab Franc from that region. So this is going to be something you're going to find a little bit more on a daily basis. A really, a really fun daily drinking version of Cab Franc, which I, I don't think people tend to see Cab Franc in the, that light. They tend to see it as this very like um, nerdy grape that deserves like a special occasion. But I, I don't think that's the case at all. And hopefully this wine proves that point. So look at this. It's kind of a really lovely ruby purplish color with like kind of these dark red hues. It's pretty brilliant. You can't see through it totally. There's a little bit of rim variation, but not too much. Um, very fruity on the nose. So uh, Cap Franc tends to have this reputation of being super savory, especially from the Loire. Um, but from some more, you get these really, really lovely fruity versions, and that's usually because of what, what's called low maceration time. So the grapes themselves don't stay in contact, or the juice itself doesn't stay in contact with all the, the skins and whatnot, so it results in these really soft, fruity, low tannin wines like you'll see here. I get plum, I get raspberry. You get a touch of earthiness and like a little bit of bell pepper on the end there, but it's it's very faint. You really get just like a ton of fruit. Um, so yeah, let's taste. Yeah, even after a couple days open, that's still singing super well. So luscious red fruits. Uh, very soft tannins, medium plus acidity. You do get a little bit of this savory, dirty aspect to it, but it's it's super faint. So I see this as like, if you like some of those lighter bodied, high spice, you know, but high fruit, uh, low alcohol wines like Carignan, or maybe you're a fan of like lighter styles of Zin or Tempranillo and stuff like that. Um, I think you'll like this quite a bit. This is even a candidate for a chilled red on a, well, in a more appropriate time than January or February, rather. Um, so you could chill this, have it with some barbecue outside with your friends, maybe even throw a couple ice cubes in it, be super fun. But otherwise, um, I would do this with heavier white meat dishes, heavier seafood like salmon, and maybe some pork-based dishes.